these are two rare survivors from the Ypres salient. These are a couple of German soldiers grave wooden crosses with alloy plaques from the Langemark German military cemetery in Belgium. Um, this is the only German military cemetery on the Ypres salient and it contains 44,292 burials, most of which are from the Battle of Langemark in October, November 1914. Um, <clears throat> the wooden crosses would be put on the soldiers' graves in the 1920s and then it was removed in the 1950s when German cemeteries were being redesigned to have flat stone markers level with the ground. Also, some of the soldiers were removed from individual graves and reburied in mass graves, symbolising the men's comradeship in death. <clears throat> now, Langemark has a mass grave of 24,917. These two crosses were found in a barn in France in September 2000, along with separate alloy nameplates. The crosses themselves were in the process of being cut up for firewood, and these two were rescued. Now, it has a series of numbers on the on the crosses, so but we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at them. So I'll tilt these back up. Just like that, and this one, they're, they're both in a similar. I need to turn this monitor around so I can see what I'm doing. This one, they're all of a similar design. That's where it's been cut flush with the ground, and if you see, it has a sort of cross symbol on there. It's got an alloy plaque on it, and the alloy plaque reads 902 Maya Oscar. 1MG KLIR grave reference number so so Oscar Meyer was with a rare machine gun reserve regiment a German machine gun reg regiment particularly rare um, no date of death or the date of death is on the bottom of this particular one I thought it was the other one he died on the 3rd of the 10th 1914 and he's interred in Langemark <coughs> military cemetery so it's since been treated, it's been woodworm treated, it's been stained. So it's quite a rare World War I survivor. And this other one is a similar pattern. They were all done to a standard pattern. Cross on the top, alloy plaque, 716, grave reference number, Herman <coughs> Sander from the Reserve Infantry Regiment, number 215. And no date of death across there means he was recovered sometime after the battle and he was identified by his dog tags. So that's what was found um, quite a long while ago. So don't often turn up now. And as I said, two were found with some separate alloy name plaques that have been destroyed for firewood. So that's that one. And that's that one. Two nice, rare, original World War I. German soldiers grave crosses and you don't often come across these very often so until we can think of something else to do we'll see you for another video bye